expected to know its next Chief Justice in the coming months. The race to succeed former Chief Justice David Kenani Maraga has continued to gather steam. The Judicial Service Commission has so far shortlisted 10 out of the 13 applicants who had shown interest to succeed retired Chief Justice David Maraga with their interviews slated between April 12th and 23rd this year. Our reporter David Muloka reviews the succession journey in the judiciary, the task ahead for the persons who will take over as Kenya's 15th Chief Justice. Just four years since the country welcomed its 14th Chief Justice in David Kenani Maraga, all eyes will yet again be trained on the Judicial Service Commission, tasked with finding the suitable replacement for Maraga, who called it a day in January 11th this year, upon attaining the age of 70 years. Maraga's retirement set in motion the search for the next Chief Justice, with 13 aspirants showing interest in clinching the apex seat within the corridors of justice. Three aspirants, however, fell short of the race to succeed Maraga in the latest announcement by the Judicial Service Commission with 10 candidates expected to square it out before the commission in April this year. The 10 to be interviewed by JSC between 12th and 23rd April in include Saeed Chitembwe, Professor Patricia Mbote, Justice Mother Kome, Justice Marete Njagi, Philip Murgo, and Justice Nduma Nderi. Others in the race include lawyer Fred Ngatia, Justice William Oko, Dr. Weke Samoni, and Alice Iyano. Once the interviews come to a close, the Judicial Service Commission is set to select one individual whose name is forwarded to Parliament for vetting and approval. If the parliament gives the candidate the green light, he or she is then formally appointed by the president. The appointment is followed by a swearing-in ceremony for the incoming chief justice, whom according to legal experts has big shoes to fill. Constitutional lawyers Bobby Mkangi and Degwa Kiroko state that upon assuming office, the next chief justice is set to take over a judiciary that has for the past four years not been seen eye to eye with the executive. How the Chief Justice will mend the broken ties and in the process establish a rapport with the government while at the same time safeguarding the independence of the judiciary is poised to be a tough balancing act for the debutant Chief Justice. There is a huge burden one in uh, trying to reconcile the broken relationship between the judiciary and the executive. So it, 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 it cannot be a hundred percent insulated uh, from uh, from politics but we want to believe that the men and women uh, who eventually get into office and I think we've seen that even if uh, politicians will have commentary will try to influence but once they take the oath of office it's the Constitution. But the two reveal that bridging the rift is only one of the many tasks that await Maraga's heir. His or her swearing in is set to coincide with the presidential race where the Chief Justice has played a pivotal role in the past two election cycles. The incoming Chief Justice will come in with uh, that or should come in with that uh, presence of mind that uh, the judiciary needs to be uh, prepared and uh, prepared in all ways in uh, dealing with uh, forthcoming uh, heated uh, political processes uh, that will culminate with the general election uh, in 2022. The incoming Chief Justice will also face another uphill task in steering a judiciary lacking in funds and human resources. We need a lot of funding, we need a lot of, uh, we need to have more judges appointed uh, to the bench, we need more magistrates to the bench because as, as we grow, so shall our social problems. The two have further stated that the judiciary is still a long way from achieving optimal digitization despite retired Maraga having launched an e-filing system in the judiciary late last year. We've been able to migrate from uh, the old analog system of uh, physical filing, especially in Nairobi, According to them, transforming the judiciary digitally will be a make or break for Maraga's successor.
It is now a matter of when, not if, the country will welcome its next Chief Justice and President of the Judicial Service Commission. And amid the 10 candidates anticipating a grueling period ahead, with fingers crossed, your guess is as good as mine on who will take it home this time round. David Mudoka, TV47 at the Supreme Court of Kenya, Nairobi.